Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. There's been news circulating around that we have achieved this milestone that the Ripple escrow is under half of the total XRP supply. So the XRP and escrow is actually 49.4 billion. Um, that is slightly less than 100 billion total supply. It's really like 99 billion, 999 million something because there's a couple that's been burned. But um, 49.4 billion is actually in escrow right now. And um, that's slightly less than half. However, that doesn't, that's not the entirety of coins held by Ripple. And today we're going to look at what's the actual percentage that Ripple holds and what's the actual percentage that Ripple holds without the founder's share and with the founder's share. So the total XRP placed in escrow, like I mentioned, was 49.4 billion XRP. Um, the total held by Ripple is 7.566 billion XRP. That does not include the founder's share. The founder's share are like Garlinghouse and Larson are private. So they don't count in the total XRP held by Ripple. So if you just take the, the amount in escrow, and a lot of people will argue that escrow isn't directly controlled by Ripple, but let's be serious. Like every every year, they, every month, they release a billion from it, and all this, the proceeds of the sales go to Ripple. So realistically, Ripple does actually own the XRP in escrow. So they just can't sell it all at once. So between the escrow and the total XRP held by Ripple directly, you still have about 57 billion XRP that's actually held by Ripple. So they still hold around 57% uh, or the majority of the XRP out there. Now, how much do the founders have? I think Chris Larson has about 4.6 and Brad Garlinghouse has about 3 billion. David Schwartz's number of XRP is kind of insignificant because he actually told us that he did take almost all his salary in Ripple shares. He owns about 2% of Ripple stock and also um, salary. So he didn't really take much XRP at all as part of his agreement. So his share is insignificant. I don't know how much the other board members have. So Garlinghouse plus Larson is about 7.6 billion. I'm going to guess like the other board members all together, they might have like eight, eight, eight to eight and a half billion XRP. So you add about 8 billion XRP onto uh, 57 billion and you get about 65 billion XRP that's held by the, uh, the Ripple board members, Ripple itself or placed in escrow. So you're still about 65% distribution within the company itself. So it's not true that uh, less Ripple controls less than 50% uh, of the coin uh, XRP tokens, but it is true that less than half of the supply of XRP is actually in the escrow. Now, if you, like I said, if you just take the founders and executive members out, Ripple only controls about 57% of the supply of XRP, but they still can, um, they still control a lot of it. Now, I think the escrow started at like 54 billion or something, so they've managed to give away about 4.5 billion over the last two years, almost two years. So you can see it's going to take a long time for them to actually uh, sell enough of the escrow where Ripple itself actually controls less than 50% because they still hold a lot of the total as well, plus the founders. The founders hold the founders, Garlinghouse, Larson are the main ones, but the other executives probably hold uh, a lot as well, and they probably hold somewhere between eight and eight and a half billion. So take that into consideration. So between the founders, Ripple and the escrow, they probably they hold over sixty five billion coins. So that's where we are right now in terms of distribution. Now you're saying sixty five percent. That's really centralized. Well, I mean, it's, it is, but it's not really that much of a problem. All cryptocurrencies are very highly centralized in terms of distribution, even Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, pre-mined coins tend to be more centralized than non-pre-mined coins because despite what you think of proof of work uh, and, the, and despite the fact that early Bitcoin miners can actually mine a lot of Bitcoin, it's been mining for several years. There have been thousands, if not ten, tens of thousands, if not millions of people mining Bitcoin, and they all have a share of the Bitcoin. With pre-mined coins like Ripple and Stellar, it's kind of different because you create all we create a bunch of coins at the beginning, and basically you kind of gift it to yourself at the beginning. That's kind of what Ripple did. They actually gifted 80% to itself, 20% for distribution. But I think part of that distribution was with the founders, anyways, and they've been slowly doling the 80% out, reducing their share. So they actually reduce Ripple actually reduced the company reduced its share from. 80% of the supply to 57% of the supply within the seven years they've actually been active. It'll take them a while to really get below 50%, but they are getting more decentralized. However, like I said, of the to top 20 cryptos, Ripple and Stellar are probably still the most centralized in terms of distribution, mainly because they created all their um, created all their coins all at once. Ripple and Stellar are very similar. Stellar does have an inflation rate. Ripple really doesn't. Um, 
I mean, total inflation rate. Like they increase the total supply of Stellar. They don't actually increase the total supply of Ripple or XRP um, in circulation. But stuff does come out of the escrow and it will come out of the escrow for the foreseeable future. Plus, Ripple actually holds a lot of XRP themselves. So, yes, it is absolutely true that the total um, XRP placed in escrow is less than 50% of the supply, but they still hold the vast majority of the supply uh, within Ripple and within its founders. So that is the news. That is the analysis for today. This is based on Ripple's own numbers from their website. This is not stuff that anyone made up and you really can't debate these numbers. Because we, we actually know how much Garlinghouse and Larson have. They're counted as part of the distribution because those are private wallets. The total XRP held by Ripple does not count those. That's just how much Ripple the company actually has. You really can't debate these numbers uh, because they come from Ripple itself. And they're actually, it's, it's, pretty, it's actually pretty transparent how much the, uh, the organization actually has. So no, they actually still own a lot more than 50% of the total supply. It's just that their escrow has come below 50%. So that is a report for today. However, it's not really much of a problem because all cryptos are really centralized in terms of distribution. XRP and XLM just happen to be more centralized, but their XRP is becoming more decentralized though. So that is a report for today. If you like my content, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Also retweet this, um, retweet this video. Uh, if you like my content, help me a lot on Twitter. Thank you and have a nice day.